We're here for the Northern Scene and for the Famous Five Luncheon, which is honoring three of the most incredible women from the North. Sheila Watt Cloutier, who of course was a great environmentalist and human rights activist. Mary Simon, the former president of the Inuit Tepirat Kanatami, and Eva Ariak, the Premier of Nunavut. And you're going to hear some inspirational stories from all of them today. Now, the famous five, those great women from Alberta, remain the only Canadians that have successfully reformed the Senate of Canada. <laughs> we always say that. They began the long and winding road of constitutional change. But the Arctic women that we're celebrating today, they've helped redraw the map of Canada. They have implemented change throughout the Northern Hemisphere, including Russia, and have brought forward many important tools to help their communities. Proudly, Enbridge has supported the Famous Five Foundation for over a decade. Our partnership reflects the high esteem we have for the hard work and dedication of Isabel and her team in bringing together remarkable women from all walks of life to inspire us with their stories of leadership. So today I spoke and I was named the Norton Rose uh, Mentorship recipient for the event honoring three amazing women. And it is so important to have these events to recognize um, people doing hard work, but also to give opportunity to young people and all the hard work that, you know, Embridge and Norton Rose and the Famous Five, all the hard work that they do. Debating something brings the best solution possible. If you can't discuss issues and if you can't debate issues in a respectful manner, then I don't think the debate will go very far. But the best decision making that I've ever been involved in and I've come across is being able to sit across from a table and disagree with somebody and then come together to see what we can do to reach an agreement. I think this is very typical of uh, Inuit. That kind of mode of working together is really is the Inuit way in that, in that sense, uh, the, the principled way in which we are inclusive and accommodating to one another and to hear each other out. But in the new institutional setting, sometimes it can be very, very tough. Our youth are so much embracing our culture and combining with the world that they are living in today. Things are happening at the community level. That is so much better. There is so much more staying power. You have uh, the commitment uh, the belief and aspiration for, for you to just just do it and our youth are doing that and I think uh, us older people <laughs> if I may use that word uh, should be there to 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 guide them as well if you know uh, and they have approached us and embraced us amongst themselves so it, it's a good mixture of, uh, of young and old and I think we should work together and uh, hold each other's hands as we move forward. I have so many people in the communities that tell me that it's important to do the work that we're doing and to be able to uh, communicate with the people living day to day in their communities, struggling with a lot of different issues and trying to move forward in their lives. It's a big challenge, but it, it it's also allows people like myself to see that we can't dwell just on the negative, that we need to move forward and we need to try and make progress despite the challenges that we face. I, I think that's what motivates me the most. Not talking about these issues is, is at the personal level. You don't let it get to you. You don't let it uh, stop you from friendship and, and, and working at that family, real human level. But you certainly do have to be very strong about these issues and in fact as a woman you have to be even stronger as Mary who paved the way for many of us and Nellie Cornway who's a, a remarkable mentor for me all these years. I'd like to really look at the bright side of our society with the brightness, with the sunshine, with the strength we will draw in the, the ones that are struggling as well and uh, it is our youth that will make it happen. <laughs>